Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us on today's video. You know, in the world of muscle cars, old 442, awesome, awesome car. Second, throw in the convertible, even better, and then throw in some of the features that you don't normally get on a muscle car, like air conditioning, or maybe power steering and things like that. And then these cars here become really, really nice to own. So uh, this one here, I love the color combination on this. It's called Saddle Bronze, and it's so period correct. And in the sunlight, you need to see this. I'm gonna pull it out, because uh, we're under the canopy doing a video right now. I'm gonna pull it out so that Justin can get some really uh, high def photos of the paint color. It is so hot. Throw in the white stripes that are on here. And the white stripes too, I want you to know, have been clear coated over so that you can wash and wax this car without having to worry about whether this right here, the stripes will start to deteriorate and tear and look bad. Um, throw in the white interior and the white convertible top with the white letter tires. It is really, really nice. The last little thing we could do on the car if you wanted to, is we do this a lot, is the W30 stripe that would go right along there. You've seen some of the cars that we have online. Look at some of the pictures that we have of the previous cars. And those cars there have that stripe on it. And I think it's just the final touch that sets that car completely apart. All right, so you got the SS2 wheels, all right, with radial tires. Keep in mind, these cars didn't come with radials back in the day. It has power disc brakes in here, which you can't see. Um, I know for a fact this has power steering because I parked the car and it parks really, really nice. Um, other than that, you know, you're talking about new chrome, new stainless, uh, new glass, uh, mirrors, trim. Let's keep walking around the car for a minute, but uh, what I did want to show you was, before we go any farther, is what you can expect to get for the quality of the paint here. Now you see here, you can read all the details of in there. That's nicely done. And we can move around the car and you can kind of get more features there as well as you can see all of everything in there. You can be able to see what time it is. These are all important things because, uh, you know, in the world of pictures and videography, pictures can make uh, anything look good. It's the video you want to see because the details are in there. All right, so let's take a walk around the back of the car for a second. I love the wing on here. I think the wing makes these cars. Um, you know, not many luxury cars came with, uh, first off, performance cars and throwing some luxury and then you throw in the wing and it looks really, really nice. Got the big trumpet tips right there, new bumpers, got the 442 call outs. You know, when these are professionally reproduced, you like to try to get them as authentic as possible. Uh, these are also, also professionally restored too. All right, let's take a peek under the hood. I love hood pins, man. These hood pins should be on everything from a Ford Focus to a 442 to a minivan. A minivan should have hood pins. They are so hot. Anyway, okay. So here we got engine compartment detailed very nicely. We got the correct color on, uh, on the rocket here. We got the right air cleaner here. Air conditioning, which is functional and it's cold, which is really nice. So you got the condenser here. You got a big giant radiator, which, is, which may not seem like a big deal to you, but to me that's important. I might take this car to a car show. I might have to sit in traffic for a while while it idles if I want to take it to the beach or whatever. This thing will idle nice and cool. You can put the windows up and the top up and turn the AC on if you wanted to. It's one of those uh, best of both worlds muscle cars where you get some great power, great sound, but you get some luxury features too, which is really nice. And as we're getting older like I am, I love the AC. Mm, how are you doing? All right, let's go and check out uh, some other things about it. Okay, let's check out the trunk here. Okay, a couple of nice things, and this is always a good sign. I'm gonna tell you why it's a good sign. This has a spare tire, and you say, well, what's well, the big deal about a spare tire? Well, I can tell you that 99% of the cars we get never have a spare tire in them, okay? Secondly, it has a car cover. That means that somebody was probably going to a car show with this car, they wanted the trunk to be complete, the jack is over there, it's all detailed, it's splatter coated correctly in here. Plus, not only did they uh, love their car, they love their car so much, they kept it in their garage, and they put a, a car cover on it. I personally have trouble putting car covers on cars because I love to walk out and look at them all the time. So I'm the worst when it comes to that kind of thing. If I got a motorcycle that I really like, I never put a car cover on it or a bike cover on it because I like to walk out and see it. I probably should put a cover on it. So anyway, this comes with a car cover so you don't have to buy it. It comes with a spare tire. Also, it's got the decals inside here for the jack stowage over there. The jacking instructions circa 1972. It's pretty cool just to see if some of the retro things that are on a car that may have come out of the factory the way it was back then. So, all right, nice, uh, nicely done back here. Let's check out the inside because you're going to spend a lot of time in there. All right, hey everybody, welcome inside the car now. So this is where you're going to be spending a lot of your time. In here is, uh, for me, this is kind of what I love a white bucket seat interior car. I think it is the most beautiful. I think with the top and the stripes and all that good stuff, it just says the final details and says I have, uh, I'm a, an elegant yet powerful yet good looking, I'm not talking about me, car. 
Anyway, uh, AC vents down in here, all right? Dash is nicely restored. This radio right here, I gotta be honest with you, it's a very average radio, just being honest, okay? If it was me, I would probably get the factory stock cheap AM radio, you can ask us to do that. And then what we do is for just a little bit of money inside that glove box here, we put like an AM, FM, CD, iPod, uh, satellite radio with a remote, so you don't have to cut up the dash. You know, this is back in the days when there was two knobs on a radio, you don't get radios like that anymore. So we mount that inside there, and more importantly, it's hidden. But I did want to show you one kind of thing here. This is kind of really cool. This is the original sticker for the car. This is the tire pressures, okay? Circa 1972. And when you were supposed to maintain the car and do the maintenance things on it. Just really nice. It's just kind of cool to be able to see those things, okay? Um, all right, so what else do we got in here? We got buckets, we got the console, uh, we got real GM belt buckles, I mean, <laughs> belt buckles, seat buckles. I saw some. I saw a belt the other day that was made out of this, that's why I thought about that. Um, like we talked about the gauges in there. One nice thing to say when you're looking at a car uh, for restoration or what have you and see kind of the condition of that, you know, it takes a lot to make all of the ancillary products work like the way they're supposed to. It may sound silly that, uh, you know, of course the turn signals are supposed to work, of course the, the brake lights and everything, but the truth of the matter is, after 30 or 40 years of people's hands in the dashes and corrosion and things like that, a lot of that stuff doesn't work. So when I get in a car and I say, okay, this guy did a nice job, he did a nice white interior in here, new carpet, nice mats, and whoa, look at that, the clock works. And you say, well, what's the big deal about the clock? Well, the truth of the matter is the clock didn't work six months after you bought it when it was new. It sure as heck isn't gonna work 40 years later, but in this case here, uh, this one's working, which is a nice sign that somebody's done some work on the restoration. They've done it properly, okay? All new bezels and trim around here. And, uh, you know, I keep going back to the white interior. The white interior with this paint just looks really, really nice. And the nice thing about it is you probably won't see a lot of them like it, and it makes it really elegant and kind of rare. But anyway, enough of my rambling. How about I start it for you so you can hear what it sounds like? I'm closing up the video on this. I thought I'd sit inside the car because enough of looking at me. Let's look at the car and talk about that. When this thing is rolling down the road, man, it is great looking. And it sounds good, it feels good. It's got disc brakes so it stops good. And uh, the Ram Air hood with the fresh air air cleaner inside there. Throw in the fact that you've got power disc brakes, power steering, and air conditioning. Uh, you know, you're talking about a great, great muscle car. This is a cool car you can take to the beach, throw the family in, take another couple out to dinner in, take another couple out to dinner in a van and they're pushing that Porsche to the side and they're parking this car out front. Anyway, if you can find a way to get this old 442 in your life, call us 301-816-1000 and we'll tell you all about it.